Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. It's definitely been a while since I've made one, and there's a whole lot that has happened since the last time I made a video. Um, so I'm going to kind of make an update video here for you guys, give you guys an update on kind of what's been going on in life, what's to come, uh, both for myself as well as the channel. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there. <laughs> um, so, first off, no, I am not dead. I am very much alive. At least I think so. Um, <laughs> I am very much alive. I've been working a lot. Um, back, well, about a year ago now, I started working at uh, a Chevy dealership as a lube tech. And I would sit there and work there all day. And by the time I'd get home, I just wouldn't have interest in making any videos. Uh, I did make some every once in a while there, but uh, it wasn't what I used to make. Um, and so then I just, you know, didn't have a whole lot of ambition to do much of anything after work. And then, uh, so then after a while I just kind of lost interest completely. Um, I went, I don't know how many months without even touching that game uh, before... I kind of kind of got a little bit of interest back. Uh, I've been playing a little bit here and there. Uh, I just uploaded some screenshots here yesterday um, from some playing, and uh, so I am I am slowly getting back into it. I've also started making a new map. Um, I took the terrain uh, data out of the No Creek Farms map, and I'm using that. And then I took a field layout from an area just outside of Lincoln, Nebraska. And I'm using that area to map out my fields and then four of the main roads, uh, three gravel roads and then one highway. Um, kind of using that to map that stuff out. And then uh, the farms and everything else just kind of be my own, you know, stuff that I come up with. <coughs> um, yeah, uh, I've been playing a little bit on Welker Farms, a little bit on Lone Oak, just kind of jumping around. I haven't been sticking to one map lately. Uh, I did start playing on UMRV again as well, um, but I'm not going to make a series on that map because I already have. Um, once I start, you know, I do plan to start making videos again. Uh, I don't think, I highly doubt that they're going to be every day like they used to be. Um, it might be a couple a week, and then maybe on the weekends there will be, you know, one Saturday and one Sunday. We'll just kind of have to see. Um... Maybe it might end up coming back every day. I don't know yet. Um, we'll kind of have to see. Uh, I was living in a place with my ex-girlfriend. Um, and so now I'm kind of working on getting moved out of there. And then I'm actually moving back to the town that I originally lived in. And going back to living with my mom's parents for a little while. Until I have some money saved up again. Uh, to go get a place of my own. Um... I had moved, it's about an hour and a half away from where I used to live, so I've been up here for a few months now, and um, got a different job. I've been working now at a sport marine dealership uh, as a power sports technician. Uh, for the most part, I put together brand new, uh, like, Polaris and Yamaha machines, so like the Rangers and the Razors and... Uh, the Sportsman ATVs and then like Yamaha Grizzlies and um, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, putting the new stuff together as well as some... Uh, I do a lot of uh, like the mechanical work as well. Uh, a little bit of everything. And I've been working there. They have a location back in the town that I used to live in. So I'm going to talk to them about just transferring... Uh, down to that location or I am also looking to see if I can get uh, hired on at a farm and we'll see if I can do that uh, I would definitely rather farm than anything but uh, if I can stay you know even staying with this company just at their other location would be pretty nice as well um, but we'll just kind of see uh, what happens there um, videos I don't know when they'll start if it'll be before I move or after I move or what it'll be. <coughs> I'm not entirely sure. We'll just kind of have to see. Uh, we'll see how that stuff kind of plays out. 
Um, let's see. I think that's about it. And then uh, another update. The Ford. Uh, that 94 F-150 that I used to have. Yes, used to have. I do not have that truck any longer. Um, back in March, actually two days before my birthday. Um, so it would have been March 23rd. Two days before my 18th birthday, I went and bought a brand new pickup. Well, not brand new, but new to me. Um, I went and bought this 2009 Chevy Silverado 1500. Uh, it's an extended cab. Uh, they had this on the lot listed for seventeen thousand. Uh, being an employee at that dealership at that time, the, uh, I had an employee discount and that brought it down to let's see, I think it was it was thirteen thousand. Then I also got a extended warranty, so that put it up over fifteen thousand. So in total, I paid fifteen thousand for the truck. I was able to put down like sixty five hundred on it right away. Um, I broke my savings account, but it was well worth it. Uh, I love this truck. It's a whole lot nicer than that Ford was. Uh, I ended up selling the Ford for like $1,700. Um, so then that went straight into a payment on this truck as well. Um, I didn't make any money back on the Ford. Uh, by the time that we sold it, I had put into it about $3,000 worth of parts and uh, whatnot into it. But So... I made about half of that back, but that's all right with me, I guess. Um, so, kind of give you a lowdown on this truck. So, it's got a level kit in it, and it's got these aftermarket vision rims on it, and then it's got Toyo uh, Open Countries on it. I'm running LT285 65 R18s on it. Um, these were on it, as well as the level kit, and then it also has a Flowmaster Super, or not super a Flowmaster 40 muffler on it which I will do a startup on it and you guys can hear that um, so the previous owner had put the level kit the t wheels and tires and then the muffler on it as well as um, doing this camouflage tape uh, it is just tape he put it on the front and rear badges as well as I'm sure you saw some places inside um, put it here on the side he's got it on this part of the top glove box um, and then it's it's on this side on both or on this on both sides, and then there's some also up there on that light. Um, I do plan to do a bunch of stuff to this truck. One of the things being taking these parts and ordering like I found a dash kit, so it'd be replacing like these plastic parts here. Um, I found a dash kit that I can get in camouflage. And so then I'll be replacing all of this stuff and along with stuff on the steering wheel. Um, as you can see, there is camel on the steering wheel as well. I'll show you a little better when I go to that side. Um, but he had all that stuff on there. And I mean, that was one thing that I really liked about the truck. Um, I've gone through car ID and found, made a list of a bunch of parts that I want. Uh, different wheels and tires, different mirrors, all kinds of stuff bunch of accessories in total about nine thousand dollars worth of stuff yes it's a lot but when you think about it um i'm getting i'm planning to get xd fuels i am going to stay with the 18s um i did consider going to 20s um and i even have considered putting a little bit of a lift in the truck and going to like 22s even but i think for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep stick with the 18s we'll see maybe i might keep the tw might go to 20s um, I haven't decided fully yet, but most likely going to stay with the 18s and then stay with the level kit and then we'll see maybe sometime down the road. Maybe I'll lift the truck a couple inches. Um, I'm not sure what size level kit's in it. Um, I didn't talk to the owner a whole lot. I actually worked on the guy's new truck one time at Chevy um, and so then that's how I found out what's exactly on this. Um, I do still have a decent amount of tread left, so I'm not like in a super big rush because I'm getting new wheels and tires um, The wheels and tires that I found so they're XD fuels and they have camouflage inserts on them um, Which I think is really cool. I am gonna put a bunch of camo on this not all of it's gonna match which to me personally I don't care um, Some other people might but I really don't care because I'm doing the truck to my satisfaction not someone else's um 
but so then I am going to put uh, I haven't decided which brand of tire I'm gonna put on it I've looked at a couple different options the nice thing about car ID is I can choose the rim and then I can go in and I can choose like I can choose the size I can choose the offset uh, which I need to figure out the offset of these if there is one even I'm not entirely sure like I said I don't know a whole lot about the truck uh, in terms of the wheels and tires because they were already done and I didn't get a chance to talk to the owner a whole lot uh, it was just kind of a quick couple questions and then I had to get going back to work um, I just talked to him when I finished his truck and so um, and ended up finding out that because he had the same tape on and so I just asked him what he found and because I was like oh because mine's got it and he's like oh black 09 1500 I said yeah and turned out to be the guy's old truck um so yeah um so then what i've done for it so far is i put mud flaps on i mean this truck has not had a bath since april or may so the thing is nasty um but i've got the nice big rubber uh mud flaps on it and then i put uh seat covers in it I just got, went to Walmart and got some real tree. I don't have them in the back yet. That's something that I need to do. But um, that's actually one thing that I plan on ordering. Um, so I guess I'll just kind of give a rundown of what I plan to do on the truck. Um, I already said the wheels and tires. I'm going to do that. Um, I plan to get tow mirrors on it. Yes, tow mirrors. I know a bunch of people are going to say a bunch of crap about it, but oh well. Um, and then... It does not have it does not have a bed liner in it, so I need to put a bed liner in it. I plan to get a line X. Um, I plan to get a different bumper, a different rear bumper, new headlights, taillights, and third brake light. Um, let's see what else here. Like I had mentioned, um, the dash kit. I plan on getting that. And then um, I do plan to get a ranch hand bolt, uh, like brush guard for it. Uh, maybe some different floor mats. I am getting new front and rear seat covers at some point as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, uh, that's kind of what's going down a um, little bit with the truck and then a little bit with uh, other stuff. I will do a startup of the truck for you guys. Um, I will just do it with the remote starter here. So the headlights, taillights, well, okay. Um, I'm doing headlights, taillights, third brake light, and fog lights. Um, I'm planning to switch to LEDs uh, all the way around and smoked lenses. Uh, I just kind of like the way that they look. I had smoked lens lights on my Ford. Uh, they weren't LEDs, but I do want to get LEDs. Um, let's see if I go back here. I'll show you. Um, so, you see here, I don't know how well you'll see, but these lights are, they're kind of a halogen light. They are very bright. That's what the guy has for the brights on this truck. He had told me, and they're the same as the reverse light here, uh, he told me that he had those lights also for the low beams and so they are some very bright lights um, in fact I'll go ahead and I'll turn them on uh, and he's got them for the fog lights as well um, but he said he had them for the low beams and then he said just before he traded it in he uh, they burned out so then he just stuck normal lights in there okay that and that so then uh, we'll see So yeah, you can see the difference. Um, I suppose my fog lights aren't gonna turn on until I have my lights all the way on. Is it because of my brakes being on? Yeah. And so then you got it as the fog light as well, uh, which that one might be burning out because it's kind of flickering. But uh, yeah, so he definitely had some very, very bright low beams in it as well um, so all right we'll go ahead and we'll just start up here i also do plan to get a different tip for this um i found a camouflage tip 
for it that I do like. This is what's on it now. Um, like I said, everything was done before, so we'll go ahead and do a startup on it. So that's what it sounds like. I like it. Um, it has a very nice sound. I enjoy it. It's not overly aggressive, but it's got that rumble there. Uh, I do also want to do some long tube headers on it. That's another thing that I would like to do and kind of make that sound a little bit nicer, a little bit deeper or something. Uh, or maybe I might put a different muffler on it. I don't know yet. But uh, like I said, I have a lot of plans for this truck. Um, maybe one day I'll make a video. I'll go through the Car ID website and uh, show you guys the wish list that I have for it and kind of give you a rundown of everything that I'm looking at getting for it. Uh, the first thing is definitely going to be the new seat covers. Um, I'm just, I you know, yeah, I do have these real trim ones on already. I could just go to Walmart and buy, you know, the matching set for the back. But I did find a set that I really, really like on Car ID, and I don't think they were all that expensive. I don't remember how much they were. I think they were about the same price. Uh, I think they were actually real tree as well. They were either real tree or mossy oak. Um, I can't remember. I have to look. Um, but I found a matching set for the front and for the back. So um, I plan to get those first. That'll be the first thing that I get for this truck. Um, and then after that, you know, like it's going to be a while before I get the wheels and tires, obviously. Um, between the wheels and tires and getting the ranch hand uh, bumper or ranch hand grill guard, whatever, uh, I'm looking at like 28, 2900 bucks. So you know round it up about three thousand dollars by the time you throw all the shipping and everything in there the nice thing is that when i order the wheels and tires i can go through and select to have them mounted and balanced and get so basically when they get shipped to me the wheels and tires are on the rims if anything i might have to put air in them but that'd be about it otherwise just slap them right on um, but i gotta get all the info like my bolt pattern my offset all that kind of stuff um, which I will do but obviously I'm not worried about it right now because I'm still a ways away from you know being able to get that um, I mean that would be three of my paychecks you know so that would be at least six weeks so you know if I'm staying with the job that I have now and if I you know like am making the same amount when I move jobs um, or like when I move or move locations, you know, if I do that. Um, so, I mean, like going off of what I am making now and how my paychecks are, it would be at least three, but that would burn all three. Obvi so obviously I'm not going to be doing that. So it would take like four to five paychecks, you know, because, I mean, I have my truck payments, I have my insurance payments, I have, um, you know, a few other bills that I have to pay every month. So... Um, you know, obviously I wouldn't have my entire check in savings. Plus, this thing definitely likes to drink fuel. Um, so, I mean, and it takes... Obviously, I don't want to always be filling it when it's almost empty, but when I fill it when it's almost empty, it's usually 60 or so dollars to fill. Um, so, I need to get better into the habit of, you know, I fill it, and then about before I get to half a tank, fill it back up. Uh, especially with it, you know, winter coming soon. Um, that's definitely going to be a habit that I want to get into, uh, that I need to get into. So, um, yeah. So that's kind of a rundown of all kinds of stuff. Um, I will make a video on um, the parts at some point if you guys would like to see that. Um, if you guys want to see, I know a while back I did a day in the life video. Uh, that was the day that I bought the toolbox that I've got right now. Um, that was a while ago. But uh, if you guys want to see another one of those, I can do one of those. Um, it probably won't be super exciting. It'll just be me leaving and going to work in the morning, taking a lunch break in the afternoon, and then coming back home after work uh, at the end of the day. Um, so it may not be super exciting, but... It'll be a little something, I guess. But um, Yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe if you like what you see. And 
we'll see you guys in the next video.